Previously on That Guy Outdoors, the journey unfolded as I set off across the vast and open desert in search of a canyon area to call home for a while. In the heart of the desert, I also found myself exploring the surrounding canyon area, immersing myself in the beauty of the rugged landscape. Fate had a delightful surprise in store as I crossed paths with some amazing people, and together we shared a spectacular camp spot, making memories under the expansive desert sky. Continuing my journey towards White Sands National Park, I found yet another beautiful spot to set up camp for a few days. During this time, I was treated to one of the most breathtaking sunsets witnessed from the surreal White Sands dunes. Inspired by the beauty, I decided to lay back and simply absorb the magic of the moment. And now, on to this week's adventures, where the journey continues, promising new landscapes, unexpected encounters, and the thrill of exploration. Stay tuned for another exciting episode of That Guy Outdoors, where every moment is an opportunity to connect with the wonders of the natural world. Well, good morning, everybody. Just getting ready to step off with some coffee. Um, here, let's get outside. Taking the morning coffee walk as usual. Got to talk to Dean last night. He called me later in the evening than I expected, but uh, it was pretty nice. He's doing good. He's excited about graduation. Got some neighbors that pulled up obviously sometime last night. Stopped and checked out 575 Brewery. Great place actually. Good beer, great live music. So, you know, this morning's walk is just down the telephone pole road. Still beautiful, nice sunrise coming up. But I think I'm ready to, to pull out of here. I've actually stayed here longer than I expected. I've actually been here for about a week. I know it may not look like that in the footage. Tucked myself away for a little bit. Got caught up on some work. Started doing uh, some of the affiliate marketing adjustments. Um, did not get it filmed, but uh, you know, had a couple rattlesnakes. Check out these cacti. So yeah, you know, there's some beautiful stuff. I know some people just look and go, oh, it's all desolate, it's all dead. No, it's alive out here. It's thriving, it's beautiful. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see right back here, 
but that is an actual state park. So where I'm staying is called the Dog Canyon Dispersed Camping Area. It's on BLM land, right butted up against um, State Park, and I forget the name of the state park. By the time this comes out, there will already be several weeks of links going up and some other stuff. I have been picked up as an affiliate to do some affiliate marketing for Terran Designs. Um, that would be all the pants that I wear, several of those shirts that I wear, and t-shirts. Um, They've also got their jackets, uh, it's just amazing, amazing products. I've had all of them well before I started doing affiliate stuff with them. So I had personally purchased the stuff. Point is, there's a link in the description to show most of the clothing that I wear. If anybody's ever interested, click the link, check out the clothing. Anything that you purchase through, the, through my link, it does, you know, keeps the travels going and these adventures happening. I'm going to jump off here. I'm going to finish my little walk. You guys enjoy the scenery. We'll see if we can catch a little bit of the sun as it's come as it comes up. It hasn't peaked the ridge yet. You can kind of see how it's starting to light up back there. Enjoy the walk, guys. We'll see you in a little bit. Well, hey, everybody. I am on the road, obviously. Got the cricket hooked up. Left the uh, site that we're staying at, Dog Canyon in New Mexico, just outside of White Sands National Park. I am headed to a harvest host right now. Found it. It is just outside of, I believe it's Van Horn, Texas. It looks like a beautiful area. I'm going to crank up some tunes. I'm going to enjoy the drive. We will catch you guys when we get there. Texas, just outside of Van Horn, Texas. I guess we're right at the base of like the Van Horn Mountains. Let's uh, take a look outside, just waiting for sunrise to happen. It's already lightened up, but the sun hasn't quite peaked yet. So also got some coffee getting ready. So yes, I am making a press of regular coffee this morning. Part of the reason is I ran out of my everyday dose. I did get a shipment ordered, but when my renewal shipment was ordered, I forgot to change the address, so it went down to Florida. Thankfully, I will be getting that as soon as my father and Kara get out to Texas. I can feel a difference. <laughs> I can feel my midday crash if I have a regular cup of coffee, and I can definitely feel a lack of focus that I had with the everyday dose. I mean, dude, I'll tell you, that stuff works. All right, we finally got the coffee. Let's get ourselves started to wake up. As I was starting to mention, so I am currently at a harvest host, actually. It Coyotes and wolves or whatever are out already. <laughs> but uh, this is Desert Garden Oasis on Harvest Host. And we are just outside of Van Horn, Texas. Now the sun's coming up. There it is. Sometimes you just gotta love a good desert sunrise. Anyways, got some work to do today, some phone calls to make. I'm going to head probably the rest of the way down to San Antonio today. Anyways, going to enjoy the coffee, go for a walk, and we'll see you guys in a little bit.
Like 643, led by technical service Woo! military training instructor trainer, hometown Detroit, Michigan. BMT graduates, Staff Sergeant Moore, Senior Airman Parker, and Airman First Class Designates here. Flight 653 and 654, led by Technical Sergeant Mark Julius Gabriel, Military Training Instructor of Hometown Tarlock, Philippines. No, I'm saying none. Oh, I see her now. Flight 641, led by Technical Sergeant Corey Wood, Military Training Instructor, Hometown Payton, Colorado. Chris! Flight 642, led by Technical Sergeant Michael Jones, Military Training Instructor, Hometown, Albuquerque, New Mexico. <laughs> Academic Excellence Flight, Flight 643, led by Technical Sergeant Brian Swatsky, Military Training Instructor, Hometown, Flower Mound, Texas. Flight 644, led by Staff Sergeant Thomas Schultz, Military Training Instructor, Hometown, Springfield, Massachusetts. Sergeant William Anderson, military training instructor, trainer, hometown, Cedar Key, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, Chief Master Sergeant Ryder will now come forward and address our graduating. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I'll bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will obey the orders of the President of the United States. Thank you. 
Well, good morning, everybody. I'm going to let you know and let you in on a couple things. I am enjoying my coffee this morning. My everyday dose, back to my mushroom coffee. So by this point in the video, you guys will have seen probably a little bit of footage from Dean's graduation from Air Force Basic Training. Kind of surreal. I recorded a little bit, not as much as I planned on. I planned on recording some around the Airbnb. Uh, I planned on recording picking up the parents at the airport. I didn't record any of it, so I apologize. Um, I know you guys enjoy coming along for the journey for the most part. It is currently Friday at 3.30 in the morning. I am on my way back to the Airbnb that I've been at for this past week. Checked into the Airbnb on Monday, picked up my mother at the airport on Tuesday evening, my mother and my stepfather. And then, unfortunately, my stepmother was not able to fly in with my dad. Um, she got sick. They just got back from a little trip in Italy and she was extremely under the weather. Um, I know she had laryngitis, I believe, and maybe a respiratory infection of some sort. Anyways, she was sick, so she was not gonna be able to fly out. I don't know, growing up, she's never really missed work. She's always been that person that kinda pushed, pushed, pushed. Um, actually, most of my family is like that, I guess. Anyways, like I said, I know she was starting to feel better. Hopefully she'll be over it here very soon and fully recovered. But my dad flew in on Wednesday. Wednesday, we started with Dean's ceremony, uh, graduation process, um, and we were finally able to pick him up. We left the base, headed back to the Airbnb, dropped my mom and stepfather off. Dean and I then went and picked my father up from the airport, uh, met a couple of Dean's wingmen, even a couple of the families as well. We enjoyed our time together. It's now Friday, like I said, 3.30 in the morning. We just dropped all my parents off, my dad, my mother, and my stepdad at the airport. I'm trying not to spill the coffee. Anyways, I will see you guys back at the house. Maybe we can actually start recording again on a regular basis and I can make sure to bring you guys involved in a lot more stuff. Uh, but yeah. We'll see you guys back at the Airbnb. Thanks for joining me on That Guy Outdoors. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you had a favorite moment, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to check the links in the description for additional information, resources, and any gear I used in today's episode. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss an adventure. Share this episode with a friend who needs a dose of outdoor inspiration. As always, join me next week as I continue the journey into the great outdoors, exploring new landscapes, meeting incredible people, and uncovering the wonders of nature. Until then, stay curious, stay adventurous, and I'll catch you in the next episode.